The part of it that I worried the most about was uh, if, they, uh, if they didn't get off at all, I couldn't go and rescue them. I went home by myself. The Apollo 11 mission is celebrated as a crowning achievement in human history. It was, after all, the first time mankind set foot on the moon. But behind the scenes of this monumental event lingers a shroud of mystery. We were smart enough to not say, uh, Houston, there's a light out there that's following us. It's all about what the astronauts might have encountered on the dark side of the moon. Why would you turn on the side radar? There's no reason to, but Aldrin did it, and I think it's because he knew, and NASA knew, that there was some danger of running into these things. Now, after years of speculation and silence, an Apollo 11 astronaut finally reveals secrets from the dark side of the moon. Neil switched to the, the medical channel and spoke directly with the chief medical officer, saying, they're here, they're parked on the side of the crater, they're watching us. Unraveling the enigma that has puzzled scientists and conspiracy theorists alike. What was hidden in the shadows and why was it kept secret for so long? The Apollo 11 mission, a historic journey. The Apollo 11 mission, launched on July 16, 1969, was a defining moment in human history. As the world watched in awe, there was more unfolding behind the scenes of this historic mission than anyone could have imagined, secrets that would only come to light decades later. It symbolized the triumph of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of exploration. As part of NASA's Apollo program, Apollo 11 was the culmination of years of intensive research, development and training, driven by the intense space race between the United States and the Soviet Union. The mission's primary goal was as ambitious as it was symbolic, to land a man on the moon and safely return him to Earth. The mission was crewed by three astronauts, each of whom played a critical role in ensuring its success. Neil Armstrong was the mission commander and the first to set foot on the lunar surface. That was the moment he uttered the now iconic words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Buzz Aldrin was the lunar module pilot. He followed closely behind Armstrong and together they became the first humans to walk on the moon. Michael Collins was the command module pilot. He remained in lunar orbit aboard the spacecraft to ensure the safe return of his fellow astronauts to Earth. The journey to the moon was not just a technical challenge, but also a deeply symbolic one. The mission represented the United States' commitment to achieving technological superiority in the Cold War context. And it fulfilled President John F. Kennedy's 1961 promise to land a man on the moon before the decade was out. The stakes were high, and the world watched with bated breath as the Apollo 11 spacecraft lifted off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, carrying the hopes and dreams of millions. The mission's objectives were clear, to land on the moon, explore its surface, and return safely. However, achieving these goals required overcoming numerous technical challenges. The Saturn V rocket, the most powerful rocket ever built, was used to propel the Apollo spacecraft into orbit and beyond. The journey to the moon took three days, with the crew traveling over 240,000 miles through the vast emptiness of space. On July 20th, 1969, the lunar module, known as the Eagle, separated from the command module and began its descent to the moon's surface. As the world watched on live television, Armstrong and Aldrin guided the module to a safe landing in the sea of tranquility, a flat, relatively smooth area on the moon. Armstrong's first steps on the lunar surface were broadcast to an estimated 600 million people worldwide, making it one of the most watched events in television history. 
Almost immediately, before the celebrations and accolades died down, questions began to emerge about what else the astronauts might have encountered during their journey. People were particularly curious about the dark side of the moon, a region that had never been directly observed by humans. The dark side of the moon, myths and speculation. While the public marveled at the success of the moon landing, the unexplored far side of the moon remained shrouded in mystery, fueling whispers of hidden truths that have persisted to this day. The dark side of the moon has always been a subject of fascination, mystery, and speculation. Known technically as the far side of the moon, it is the hemisphere that is perpetually turned away from Earth due to the moon's synchronous rotation. This unique characteristic has given rise to a host of myths and conspiracy theories, especially since the Apollo missions. For centuries, the far side of the moon was a blank slate for the imagination. Ancient civilizations and early astronomers could only speculate about what might lie on the unseen portion of the lunar surface. It wasn't until 1959, when the Soviet Lunar 3 spacecraft sent back the first images of the far side, that humanity got its first glimpse of this mysterious region. The images revealed a landscape starkly different from the familiar near side. There are more craters and fewer of the large dark plains known as Maria. However, these images only fueled further curiosity and speculation as the details were still limited and unclear. The Apollo missions, particularly Apollo 11, added a new layer of intrigue to the far side of the moon. As the first manned mission to orbit the moon, Apollo 8 had already given astronauts a close-up view of the far side. But it was Apollo 11 that truly captured the world's imagination. While the mission's focus was on landing on the near side of the moon, the very idea that the astronauts might encounter something unusual on the far side, something that had been hidden from humans' view for millennia, captured the public's attention. One of the most persistent myths surrounding the dark side of the moon is the idea that it harbors secret bases or alien structures. This theory gained traction after the Apollo missions, largely due to the fact that the far side had not been directly explored by humans. Conspiracy theorists have long speculated that the far side of the moon could be home to extraterrestrial civilizations, hidden from Earth's view and possibly even interacting with the astronauts during their missions. These ideas were fueled by the astronauts' often cryptic and cautious remarks about their experiences on the moon. It led some to believe that there was more to the story than NASA was letting on. Another myth that has persisted is the notion that the Apollo missions discovered evidence of ancient civilizations or artifacts on the far side of the moon. Some theorists have suggested that the moon could be an artificial satellite or a remnant of a once thriving extraterrestrial culture. The idea that the dark side of the moon might hold the key to understanding our own origins or the existence of other intelligent beings has captivated imaginations for decades. The idea that Armstrong, Aldrin and Collins might have encountered something extraordinary on the dark side of the moon has persisted in the popular imagination, even as NASA has consistently denied any such discoveries. Part of what makes the dark side of the moon so intriguing is its inaccessibility. Even today, with all of our technological advancements, the far side remains a challenging environment for exploration. Communication with Earth is impossible without the use of relay satellites, and the extreme temperatures and radiation levels make it a harsh and unforgiving place. In reality, scientific interest in the far side of the moon is driven by its unique characteristics. Because it is shielded from the radio emissions of the Earth, the far side is an ideal location for radio astronomy and other scientific observations. Researchers are particularly interested in using the far side to study the early universe, 
as it offers a quiet environment free from the interference that plagues Earth-based instruments. Additionally, the far side's ancient surface provides valuable insights into the history of the Moon and the solar system, as it has been less affected by the geological processes that have shaped the near side. And with the Apollo 11 astronaut finally revealing secrets from the dark side of the Moon, the world may be on the brink of uncovering the truth behind one of space exploration's greatest enigmas. The astronaut's silence, decades of secrecy. In the years following the Apollo 11 mission, the world eagerly sought to hear every detail of the astronaut's historic journey to the Moon. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins were celebrated as heroes. Their accounts of the mission were meticulously recorded in countless interviews, documentaries and books. For years, the Apollo 11 astronauts remained tight-lipped about certain aspects of their mission, leading to speculation that what they encountered was too extraordinary or too dangerous to share with the world. Yet despite the extensive coverage, there was a notable silence surrounding certain aspects of their experience, particularly regarding what they might have encountered on the far side of the moon. This silence, whether intentional or not, has fueled decades of speculation, conspiracy theories, and a persistent sense of mystery. From the outset, the Apollo 11 mission was shrouded in a certain level of confidentiality. The astronauts were subjected to rigorous debriefings upon their return to Earth, and some details of their mission were classified, ostensibly for national security reasons. While the public was given a broad overview of the mission, including the iconic moments of the moon landing, the specifics of what happened during the periods when the astronauts were out of communication with Earth were never fully disclosed. The astronauts themselves adhered to the official narrative with few deviations. Neil Armstrong, in particular, was famously reticent. He rarely offered more than the carefully curated statements provided by NASA, Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins were similarly tight-lipped. They provided the public with only the details that had been officially sanctioned. Over the years, various theories emerged to explain the astronauts' silence. Some speculated that they had witnessed something extraordinary on the far side of the Moon, something that NASA or the US government deemed too sensitive to reveal. These theories ranged from the plausible to the outlandish. There were claims that the astronauts had encountered evidence of alien life, ancient lunar civilizations, or even secret military installations. One of the most persistent theories is that the Apollo 11 astronauts were sworn to secrecy about what they saw on the dark side of the moon. According to this theory, the far side harbored structures or objects that could not be explained by natural phenomena. The idea that these discoveries might challenge the official narrative of the mission prompted a deliberate cover-up. Proponents of this theory often point to the astronauts' careful choice of words and their reluctance to discuss certain aspects of the mission as evidence of their enforced silence. Public curiosity about the far side of the moon was further stoked by the fact that the astronauts' communications were cut off while they were on the far side. This is a natural consequence of the Moon's mass-blocking radio signals. For approximately 48 minutes during each orbit, the astronauts were out of contact with NASA's mission control. While this period of radio silence was expected and planned for, it also created a window of time during which anything could have happened. Anything that the astronauts might have been instructed not to disclose. Now, after decades of secrecy, one of the Apollo 11 astronauts has finally begun to reveal some of the secrets that have long been hidden. This long-awaited disclosure promises to shed light on what really happened during those fateful moments on the far side of the moon. As the truth comes to light, the world is poised to re-evaluate one of the most significant events in human history, and the enduring legacy of the Apollo 11 mission may be forever changed. The revelations. What are they? 
The most shocking revelation comes from a long-rumored incident that took place when the lunar module, the Eagle, was orbiting the Moon and temporarily lost contact with NASA's mission control. This communication blackout, which lasted for approximately two minutes, was initially attributed to technical difficulties. However, recent disclosures suggest that during this period, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin encountered something on the far side of the Moon that was so alarming they immediately switched to a classified communication channel to report it back to NASA. Armstrong allegedly reported seeing strange objects parked on the rim of a crater. His exact words, according to some insiders, were, they're here, they're parked on the side of the crater, and they're watching us. This brief but chilling message was enough to send shockwaves through the ranks of NASA and the US government. The astronauts were instructed to continue their mission as planned, but were warned never to speak of the incident publicly. Buzz Aldrin has also confirmed seeing a UFO trailing their spacecraft during the journey to the moon. He was careful not to describe it as an alien spacecraft, so the nature of the object remained unexplained. Aldrin's sighting, combined with Armstrong's account of the crater incident, fueled rumors that the Apollo 11 crew had indeed encountered extraterrestrial life or technology on the moon. These claims have been further supported by whispers from within NASA itself. Some former employees have hinted that Armstrong and Aldrin took photographs of the mysterious objects they encountered, but these images were classified and never released to the public. Another piece of evidence that has surfaced involves a recording device that was on board the lunar module. It is said that this device captured the entire communication between Armstrong, Aldrin, and Mission Control during the two-minute blackout. While the official transcripts released by NASA contain nothing out of the ordinary, insiders claim that the original recordings tell a different story. These recordings supposedly include the panicked exchange between the astronauts as they described the strange objects they were seeing. In addition to the extraterrestrial sightings, there are also claims that the Apollo 11 mission uncovered ancient structures on the Moon's surface. These structures, which some believe to be remnants of a long-lost civilization, were reportedly captured in photographs taken by the astronauts. But like the images of the UFOs, these photographs have never been made public. The secrecy surrounding the Apollo 11 mission extends beyond the extraterrestrial encounters. There are reports that Armstrong and Aldrin were also involved in a secret expedition to the dark side of the moon to explore these structures further. This mission, which was allegedly conducted under the guise of a routine lunar orbit, aimed to gather more information about the origins and purpose of the structures. The results of this mission, like much of the information from the Apollo 11 mission, remain classified to this day. In the years following the mission, both Armstrong and Aldrin became increasingly reluctant to discuss their experiences on the moon. Armstrong, in particular, grew more reclusive. He refused to participate in many public events and interviews. Some who knew Armstrong personally have suggested that he was deeply affected by what he encountered on the far side of the moon and that it had led him to question much of what he had previously believed. Now, with the new revelations, the damage is done and the world is left to wonder. What else has been kept hidden and how will these secrets shape our understanding of the cosmos? The implications, what these secrets mean. The revelations not only change our understanding of the moon, but also raise profound questions about humanity's place in the universe, questions that could redefine the future of space exploration. One of the most immediate implications of these revelations is the need to reassess our understanding of the moon as a celestial body. For centuries, the moon has been regarded as a barren, lifeless rock, devoid of any significant activity or history. The Apollo missions were primarily focused on understanding the Moon's geology, collecting rock samples and conducting experiments that would shed light on its origins and relationship to Earth. 
However, the possibility that the moon might harbor remnants of an ancient civilization or be a location of extraterrestrial activity suggests that our scientific models may be incomplete or even fundamentally flawed. If the structures described by the Apollo 11 astronauts are indeed remnants of an ancient civilization, this would have far-reaching implications for our understanding of human history and the development of intelligent life in the universe. The idea that an advanced civilization could have existed on the moon or used it as a base opens up a plethora of questions about the origins of life, the evolution of intelligence, and the possibility that humanity is not the first technologically advanced species to explore space. Such a discovery would force scientists to re-evaluate current theories about the origins of life on Earth, and it would potentially lead to the development of entirely new frameworks for understanding our place in the cosmos. The potential discovery of extraterrestrial life or technology on the Moon also raises significant ethical and philosophical questions. For instance, if the UFOs and structures encountered by the Apollo 11 crew were indeed of extraterrestrial origin, what does this mean for the future of human exploration and colonization of space? Should humanity proceed with caution, or should we continue to assert our presence in space as if it were an uninhabited frontier? These questions are not just theoretical, they have practical implications for how future missions are planned and conducted. These revelations could have a profound impact on future space policy and international relations. The discovery of extraterrestrial technology or ancient lunar structures could trigger a new space race. Such a scenario could lead to increased competition and tension between spacefaring nations, as well as the need for new international agreements to govern the exploration and utilization of extraterrestrial resources. The potential existence of extraterrestrial life also has implications for the search for life on other planets and moons in our solar system. If life or intelligent beings once existed on the moon, it raises the likelihood that similar forms of life could exist, or have existed, on other celestial bodies, such as Mars, Europa, or Enceladus. Furthermore, the secrecy surrounding the Apollo 11 mission and the subsequent revelations raise important questions about the role of government and public institutions in managing information related to space exploration. The fact that these encounters were kept secret for so long suggests that there may be other undisclosed information about space missions and extraterrestrial encounters. This secrecy can erode public trust in governmental institutions and may lead to increased calls for transparency in future space missions. These revelations could also influence the direction of future lunar missions. With the possibility of ancient structures or extraterrestrial technology on the Moon, future missions may be tasked with further exploring these sites to gather more information. This could lead to a shift in the focus of lunar exploration from purely scientific research to a combination of archaeology, technology recovery, and even diplomacy with potential extraterrestrial beings. Such missions would require new technologies and methodologies, as well as careful consideration of the ethical implications of interacting with extraterrestrial artifacts or life forms. The idea that we are not alone in the universe has long been a staple of science fiction, but these recent disclosures bring it closer to reality. This could lead to a shift in public consciousness as people begin to grapple with the idea that humanity may be just one of many intelligent species in the cosmos. Such a shift could have profound effects on religion, philosophy, and our understanding of human identity. The revelations from the Apollo 11 astronaut also highlight the importance of continuing to explore the Moon and other celestial bodies. Despite decades of exploration, there is still much we do not know about the Moon, and these new findings suggest that it may hold many more secrets waiting to be discovered. 
As space agencies and private companies plan future missions to the moon, they will need to consider the possibility that they may encounter phenomena that challenge our current understanding of the universe. The world responds. As the world grapples with the newly uncovered truths, the implications extend far beyond space exploration, sparking debate, fear, and a renewed sense of wonder about what lies beyond our planet. The revelations caused a lot of coverage, from serious scientific analysis to sensationalist headlines. The media's response to the astronauts' disclosures was swift and far-reaching. Major news networks, newspapers, and online platforms dedicated significant airtime and column space to the story, often leading with headlines that emphasized the extraordinary nature of the revelations. The coverage varied widely in tone. Some outlets took a measured approach that focused on the potential scientific implications. Others leaned into more sensational interpretations, speculating about the existence of extraterrestrial life and government cover-ups. The scientific community's reaction was more measured, but no less intense. Scientists and researchers around the world weighed in on the revelations. Some scientists expressed cautious optimism. They suggested that the revelations could open up new avenues of research and potentially lead to groundbreaking discoveries about the moon's history and its place in the solar system. Others, however, were more skeptical. They questioned the validity of the claims and called for a thorough review of the evidence before drawing any definitive conclusions. Several prominent space agencies, including NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Russian Space Agency, Roscosmos, released statements in response to the revelations. NASA, in particular, was quick to address the situation. The organization reiterated its commitment to transparency and scientific integrity. In its official statement, NASA acknowledged the astronauts' disclosures and emphasized the importance of continued exploration and study of the Moon. The agency also promised to review any newly revealed data and work with international partners to ensure that all information related to the Apollo missions is thoroughly examined. Dr. Sarah Johnson, a planetary scientist at Johns Hopkins University, viewed the disclosures as a potential turning point in lunar research. If these claims are substantiated, they could fundamentally alter our understanding of the Moon and its history. She said in an interview, We've always thought of the Moon as a dead, inert body, but if there's evidence of extraterrestrial structures or technology, it could mean that the Moon has a much more dynamic and complex history than we've ever imagined. On the other hand, some experts urged caution. They warn against jumping to conclusions without solid evidence. Dr. Marcus Bell, an astrophysicist at the University of Cambridge, expressed concern about the potential for misinformation to spread in the wake of the revelations. We need to approach these claims with a healthy dose of skepticism, Dr. Bell said. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and so far what we've seen are intriguing but unverified accounts. It's crucial that we don't let speculation outpace the science. Internationally, the revelations have also sparked a range of responses. In China, where the government has been ramping up its lunar exploration efforts, state media outlets covered the story some curiosity. The Chinese Space Agency, CNSA, which has its own plans for manned moon missions in the coming decades, expressed interest in the newly revealed information and suggested that it could influence future Chinese missions. In Russia, the reaction was more subdued. Government officials and scientists largely withheld judgment until more concrete evidence is made available. As the world continues to grapple with the implications of the astronauts' revelations, it is clear that this is only the beginning of a larger conversation. The disclosure has opened the door to new questions about the Moon, space exploration, and our place in the universe. How will these revelations shape future missions to the Moon and beyond?
What other secrets might still be hidden, waiting to be uncovered? And how will humanity respond to the possibility that we are not alone in the cosmos? The future of moon exploration. As we digest the implications of these disclosures, it is clear that future missions to the moon, and perhaps beyond, will be shaped by the newfound knowledge that there may be more to our closest celestial neighbor than we ever imagined. The mysteries that have come to light will undoubtedly fuel the ambitions of space agencies, private companies, and scientists worldwide, inspiring them to push the boundaries of exploration further than ever before. In the wake of these revelations, the focus of lunar exploration is likely to shift. Where once the primary goals were scientific study and exploration of the moon's surface, there may now be a renewed emphasis on uncovering the secrets that have been hidden in its shadowed craters and far side. Future missions may be designed specifically to investigate the locations mentioned in the astronauts' account. These missions could pave the way for new technologies, techniques, and collaborative efforts as space agencies work together to unlock the moon's deepest mysteries. The broader goals of space exploration could also be influenced by these developments. The possibility of encountering extraterrestrial life or technology may lead to a reassessment of how we approach space exploration. Questions of ethics, diplomacy, and international cooperation will become increasingly important as we consider the implications of such discoveries. Humanity's role in the cosmos may be redefined, not just as explorers, but as potential neighbors in a universe that could be teeming with life. Do you think there is more to the official accounts of the dark side of the moon? Tell us in the comments. We'd love to hear. For now, we're done. Catch you in the next video.